Peace, love, and happiness. How's it going? Sending you lots of love, so take it all, embrace it all, embody it all. Create your life. All that you truly desire is manifesting now. So, I want to talk about an existential crisis, all right, which I've been working on overcoming this period of my life, this existential crisis in my life for a long time, like a year and a half, two years since the psychosis. Like literally everything in my life had to fall apart because like I was a stoner, an alcoholic, always trying to escape the pain, depressed, suicidal. And then once the first lockdown kicked in, I had my the drug induced psychosis slash messiah complex i thought it was jesus slash spiritual awakening awakening slash existential crisis so then after the hospital i didn't know who the fuck i was i don't think i ever really did i always wanted to have a purpose i wanted to feel more loved i wanted to uh, explore more of who i was and i never oh, it was a chemtrail yeah i see you i see you at the window um and i always wanted to explore my purpose and whatnot so then after all that, it's been the past year and a half, two years almost, just fucking trying to figure out and find life in me, trying to find more peace, more harmony, more love, more purpose. What do I want to do? Who am I? Who are you? You know, like, and it's been a hard ass journey because some days I just don't want to keep going. Like, I'll w- not like suicide. Like, I'll wake up and I'll just be like, oh, I don't want to do anything today. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I'll, I'll I'll keep pushing through, and it's like I just want to feel energy again. I want to feel like I feel. I want to feel purposeful. I want to uh, live like my best life and actually enjoy every moment of it. Unless like when you yes, like shit happens in life. There's negative experiences. You can make the best out of them though. But it feels like all I get is those negative experiences. Or when I I have a lot of good experiences, but I don't enjoy them as much because it's just like. I'm not all there. I'm not fully present. I'm uh, going through my existential crisis kind of thing, right? And, like, what I've been doing about it is just going with whatever happens, you know? Like, I was pretty brainwashed and programmed during the psychosis through, like, spiritual gurus and through fucking listening to everybody else's mindset besides mine. So I've been, like, working on unprogramming that shit and, like trusting myself listening to my heart using my mind utilizing what skills i have filming videos just keep kind of going right because like nothing stops and the world isn't going to stop for you either it's kind of harsh but like you gotta keep going you know it's like and then start taking more responsibility for yourself and start being more of the main character and showing up in your own life because i noticed i would think about everybody else like how would they feel if I was in their life? Oh, she's cute. Yeah, I could be the, her boyfriend or whatever. I was like, that's not fucking my life, though. This, that, How would she be in my life? You know, like, it's like I'm putting too much thought into literally everything external when it's like, well, I want to fucking, if I want to play basketball, I'm going to play basketball. I'm not going to be like, what would it be like playing basketball? Or what would, who can play with me? It's like, not my fucking life. Yeah, it's nice to enjoy experiences with people, but you're, you're you fucking your main character. Show up in your own life. And that's why I distract myself with my fucking phones, watching YouTube videos. It's become like I'm just so sucked into these like fucking online portals that I don't have. I'm not thinking for myself. I'm not living my own life. I'm not being me. Right. And it takes time. Like I've been saying, it's been almost fucking two years and I'm still I'm growing. I'm evolving. I'm learning more about myself and about reality. But I'm still kind of stuck in that that phase, you know, And maybe that's where I need to be. Maybe I need to be stuck. In this abyss of uh, unknown, right? I don't know. So uh, I just hope, you know, like, it will get better. I have faith that it will. But it's hard. When you're when you're in, in that fucking dark abyss, you're like, where's the light? Where? And then you see it, and you're like, oh. And then just fucking paradigm shift. You're all fucking happy and blissful. And you live happy ever after you fly off in a unicorn with your soulmate into the sun. That's basically it, right? <laughs> If uh, if you like this video, if you can relate to it, if you're going through some type of like existential crisis, awakening, psychosis, just give a thumbs up and let me know down below how you've managed to cope through it. What are your challenges? Do you need help overcoming? Let me know. And uh, if you want to subscribe, <laughs> click, click. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. 
I hope if you're going through something similar to what I'm going through, and I know and I have faith that we will overcome this. It'll just take time, patience, and love, okay? I'm Scott Vlad. Peace.